Hey guys, it's Paul from Varus Engineering and today we're talking about laser ride height sensors. It's great for what we're doing it for. Uh, we're looking for the overall ride height on the car. Uh, it works really well. Another way to do it is with uh, potentiometers, which I think is probably a little bit more common in the um, enthusiast type of tracking. Uh, what's the purpose? Well, the purpose is to find the ride height at the wheel centers. So you can see that's what's marked in blue is the wheel centers. And then you can also use it to find extremes on the car, uh, splitter diffuser, side splitters. Like say you have a side splitter. I know this is an open wheel car, but it makes it easier to see the wheels. Um, if you have a side splitter that's really far out, like in a time attack car, you can see how close that gets to the ground. Same with like a front splitter or a diffuser. It's really good for that. It's really easy to figure that out once you actually figure out the math. Uh, what's needed? So you need three laser ride height sensors. The reason you need three is because you're actually making a plane. Three points make a plane. And from there, you can calculate any position on that plane you would like. You need a data acquisition system. You need to know your X, Y, and Z coordinates for lasers. So right here, this is the normal coordinate for a car. X goes this way, Y goes this way, and Z is going up. And then you need to know your X, Y, Z locations for the positions of interest. So usually for like right now, positions of interest is front left, front right, rear right, rear left, right height sensors. Or rear right height, not sensors. All right, how do you do it? Might wanna brush up on Calc 3 if you took it. If you did not take it, then you can learn the specifics for how you actually calculate it. It's actually using the dot product. So if you look up like calc three and dot products, you can figure it out. It's called plane equations. It's actually not that hard. It's pretty easy. Um, it's overall pretty basic math. It's actually algebra. Um, what you solve is algebra. And then how do they work? So this is like a, just a drawing of kind of a laser ride height to give you an idea of what's going on. So you have a laser that shines down, hits the ground. I just have two locations so you can kind of see the difference and then reads through a lens, and that angle is how it calculates different ride heights. Usually it's good for a specific distance. Uh, what sensors are we using? We're using the Izzy Racing. Uh, it has a measurement range of 30 to 300 millimeters, which is plenty for what we need. We're never gonna get in the 300 range, and where we have them located, it'll never get below 30. Um, so it's totally good. And this is kind of what you're looking at. The laser sensors are in red. This is an idea of similar to how we have it set up. We have two sensors in the front that are forward of the front wheels. And then we have one sensor in the rear. Ours actually isn't uh, behind the rear wheels. It's more like right here. And it's offset a little bit. You can use it. It doesn't necessarily matter exactly where these are because you're just using math to then make a plane. Uh, two in the front, that's pretty standard. Um, I could see some situations where you might want two in the rear and one in the front, but for what we're doing, two in the front makes more sense. All right, so this is a laser ride height sensor. This is what we're using. This is Izzy Racing's. So this one's actually from the rear of the car. We have it off right now because we're doing suspension changes um, and it was in the way for that, so it's off the car currently. You can see the front ones, they're up here. That's the front left. It's the front right over here. They're in about the same location, or really close. They're about 20 millimeters different, um, according to the math. Basically measured from the center line of the axle. Um, and then you, that's where you take the X dimension, so it's negative, and then the Y direction. The rear one sits, it's offset a little bit, but it is right around here. So that's about where it's offset from the rear, 90 millimeters on the Y, and it's just in front of the rear axis, axle. So that's how we set up the laser ride heights. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, shoot us an email.